believe the first thing we have on the uh, for ours is uh, approval of a contract. Jen, a minute. Is that the first one? Yeah. Uh, I have no palm there. Yeah, sent over last week uh, a request uh, for this board to authorize the town manager to enter into a contract with RC and D Inc. They were the low bidder for the Mill Pond Dam project that went out to bid uh, before the vote. Uh, we did put it on hold uh, with RC and D agreeing to hold their bid price to make sure we wouldn't have to go backwards and do this again. This is uh, a Mill Pond Dam. Mill Pond Dam. You said Meadow Pond. I just want to make sure. Yeah, it's near Meadow Pond, but it is Mill Pond. <laughs> just want to make sure. Sorry, Mill Pond we Dam. We know what we're doing. Uh, so we are looking to enter into a contract with them to authorize them to start the uh, renovation, restoration, and relocation. The total of RC and D's uh, contract is for $496,815. Uh, as we had mentioned last time we were here, it was put out to bid according to the purchasing policy. We had eight firms respond. They were the lowest and responsible bidder. Any questions? Yeah, uh, I read it this morning, today. Looks good. Uh, are we pretty sure? Do we have any guarantees if it goes over? I was taught in college that guarantees are only for mufflers. Um, <laughs> it was. One of my professors <laughs> taught me that. Uh, right now, we obviously we built contingency into the actual bid. There's a line item there for things that come up, you know, from loam and seed to, you know, needed to pour an extra piece of concrete just because you can't know everything. Uh, we did investigation work beforehand, so we know where ledge is and we have our survey and those type of things. Uh, part of this bid process, uh, Par Corporation went out and actually called every one of these uh, references that were provided uh, to make sure that they were capable of doing this work, had experience doing this work, is familiar with um, blocking the water, being able to control the water. Um, dam building is not for everyone. Uh, so there's confidence in our numbers that we have money within our uh, allotted amount to get this job done. I also had a um, email conversation with uh, uh, Alan Orsi, the engineer for Par Corporation, uh, specifically with the idea of change orders, um, reiterating that, as Fred's trained me, we don't do change orders. Um, in other words, don't sit back and keep your mouth shut and think that you're going to be able to submit a change order later on and that, you know, you're going to get paid for it. Uh, this subject got brought up when we were talking about the, uh, they have to do a safety plan, traffic control safety plan. Um, there is a section of sidewalk there that's going to, you know, probably get impacted, i.e. we're going to be working very closely to it. So um, he reached out, uh, Alan did, with the uh, contractor and assures me that, no, there's going to be no need for, for change orders. Um, so, I, as I told him, I said, I've been here five years. I've seen Fred be glad to sign one, and that was begrudgingly, well, for a $12,000 credit. So we don't, you know, we don't do change orders, period. And we let every, all these contractors know it. So there's a whole email chain to that effect. Um, so if they start to whittle that uh, that way and think they're going to get one, they're not. They're going to have to find some other way to make up the money. But we don't do change orders. Thank you. Gina? So this 496 815 that's going to use funds from both the 16 Warren article, what's left over in there, in the, and the then the extra that we the town voted for in 18. Yes. Just because there was some you know clarification as to where that money had gone, whether it was in. So it looks like uh, we're going to need what we have uh, built up to use. Essentially, yes. Done. Okay, great. Thank you. Rick? No, it sounds good to me. Thank you. All right, Louise? Yep. Um, 2016, Article 20. Um, it was for $147,500 with 70, $73,750, or half of that amount, to come for the unfunded um, from the UFB. 
Are we, it, that article did not pass, so we're not tapping the undesignated right. fund That had to do with the, also the replacement of culverts under High Street. It right. never got approved. It's not on the script. Right. It's not even being considered. It's, okay. We don't think of it. Now, this contractor that, that you and I've read through uh, is from Rhode Island. Foxborough, was, Mass. Nobody oh. from local who. Yeah, our, our engineers are from Foxborough. Sorry, but. yeah. No, there was not a local contractor who right. came in as a lower bid with the same amount of experience. Right. Now, this is a touchy area and a touchy subject, and especially after our, our experience, and we'll be mentioning <coughs> Church Street Line later on. I would like to suggest, I would like to respectfully suggest to you that we keep a photographic record doesn't have to be every minute of the construction, but I would like to see a photographic record kept, a DVD or something, for the stages of construction. So if 10, 15, whatever years down the line, there are issues, we have something to fall back on mm -hmm. other than a piece of paper. So I would like to see people out there with a camera we're, okay, we're already we? no we're already doing it um okay that par, makes me happier par will have their inspector out there they will be taking photos the contractor i'm sure will be taking photos um, we will be taking photos um, drake side road that we completed last summer i have in excess of 200 photos excellent showing dirt being moved so um it's a uh, inexpensive information to store mm -hmm. and uh, so it is it's already part of our process so we don't have to worry about kickback or something because if we see a deficiency or whatever then we'll have it in print so that we have some recourse well, if necessary we're going to get uh, daily and weekly uh, construction reports from par i'm sure there's going to be uh, the portion of the work is concrete we're going to have uh, concrete cylinders uh, collected tested so all the, this will be documented Six ways to Sunday. Excellent. And I have another um, question on the culvert, <clears throat> because as you know, that's a dreadfully sensitive area with flooding and Meadow Pond and Kings Highway and all that stuff. You know better than I do. Mm -hmm. the dangers there. What's going to sure, happen to the existing culvert? Culverts under High Street? Yeah. Absolutely nothing. It will still be there? still be there and you think it will handle comfortably the it, overflow or whatever you call it, it shows in the major events that it would you know get overtopped it's we've done this for years by one or two tenths of water because that end floods every year practically yeah. yeah so um while it would have been nice to do that work it isn't what you one project is not tied to the other so high street can be done at some other point in time so at some point in time irrespective of what happens with the dam <coughs> construction right. we would have the ability yep. to replace that culvert if need be yep okay well that makes me feel happier see your mission is accomplished so do i have a motion for the i'll make a motion i'll second motion to accept the bid from rc and d yes in the amount of Four ninety six eight fifteen. Yes, I'll make and that motion. And I'll move to authorize the manager to sign the uh, contract. All those in favor? Did I get a second? Unanimous. She already she, she already did. Okay, good.